Greetings, ladies and gentlemen! I am TBG Hunter, and welcome to the adventures of Dr. Franken for 2019's Hunttober miniseries! Basically, this is a miniseries where I take a bunch of horror games, Halloweenish games, I take a look at them, see if they're worth anything, they could be good, they could be bad. Who knows, it's just my general impressions on them, so take it with a grain of salt. Maybe sometime in the future, it could be made into a Halloween LP, if it's good, or if it's bad, I'm not picky with that kind of stuff. And today, we are going to be taking a look at the adventures of Dr. Franken for the SNES. This is a game that I have very mixed feelings for. On one hand, I adore the art style, the colors, and the music for it. On the other hand, the gameplay side, it's garbage. It's one of those games where it's like, oh, this is hard because enemies hit you very cheaply or you have no iframes so they can just hit you multiple times and drain your health in a matter of seconds. And it's more of just memorizing where the enemies are and their move patterns rather than, you know, being smart and methodical about this kind of stuff. Honestly, I enjoyed this game for what it is, but at the same time, uh, I, I'm just... Mm. It rubs me the wrong way sometimes, is what I'll say. That's as nice as I can be to it. So basically, the theme of this game is uh, Frankie here. He wants to go on vacation because, as you can see, he's already decked out for vacation. He has the those sick uh, Hawaiian shorts with the flowers on them. He's got himself some sandals. Got himself a nice, sweet red t-shirt and those sick shades. He wants to go on vacation, get some souvenirs from his destinations, but for now we need to find his passport so, you know, he can actually leave on his vacation. And of course the house residents are like, no, please, don't go, we want you to stay with us, we're lonely without you, and decide to, you know, hide the pieces of his passport throughout his castle and want to kill him to make sure he does not ever leave this place whatsoever. I've played this intro level so many times, I basically had the passport locations memorized Basically, it's etched into the back of my head at this point with how much I've gone through this and know the exact location of every single passport piece in this entire damn castle. Because all the items are in a set location. Enemies are also in a pretty set location as well, albeit except for a couple because they're kind of like, oh, there are enemies that pop off screen, so, you know, you gotta be careful around them, but they won't show up all the time, just some of the times. As you can see right there, hit detection in this game, not your best friend. Uh, the floating head up there, automaton abomination, hit me when I was well below it. That's one of the biggest gripes I have with this, especially with Grandpa here, just curb stomping me on his way over to give Grandson a hug and kiss goodbye. I'm just... I'm not really the biggest fan of the hit detection. As you saw, I'm not even my foot connected to the floating head thing there, and he's dead. Same with the chef. It feels like the hitboxes for enemies are about, I'd say, about four pixels away from the character models themselves, or I guess the sprites in this case, not character models. And just enemies will c just come screaming right out of the side of the screen, unless you know the exact location of every spawn point for every enemy. It just gets really grating at times, and this game uh, is what I like to call artificial difficulty because of this. It's going to go over here. Deal with this abomination because it's guarding the last piece of our passport. But anyways, we got our passport. Let's head out because we have to be cool like that. We have to take the secret entrance out. Can't go out the front door like a normal monster. So we got some branchy paths to go on our vacation. We can either head up north and go to the UK. Or we can head south and head to what I believe is... It's either Italy or Greece, and given by the background and, like, the the setting and the enemies you fight here, I'm kind of leaning more towards Greece. I don't know. Maybe it's the statues. Maybe it's the pillars. Maybe it's these assholes with their very deceptive long-range attacks. Oh, welcome to one of the most annoying enemies. Okay, I still did damage to him and not to my screen, yet I still took damage. Thank you, and, uh, hit detection. You are just my... Best friend in this. Do you want to maybe drop some health like you did last time? Nope. Okay. 
take care of this guy. His sword, if you freeze him with your sonic boom attack, come on, there we go, just being super careful with it. If you freeze him with your sonic boom attack instead of doing like the, the very strong one that actually, you know, kills enemies one hit, he will still do damage to you with his sword because the uh, Greek magic, I'm guessing. I don't know. It still damages you if you touch it, and it's got a pretty wide range, and kind of goes a little all over the place, so you need to be super careful with those enemies. Anyways, as you saw it there, there's the exit to the level. However, we need to get ourselves some souvenirs before we go. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see, up here, I believe there's a Screaming Skull. Not dealing with that guy right now, but I think one of our souvenirs was around here somewhere. Uh, but the zombies! I mean, we're kind of like cousins, right? Why do you forsake me so? Audrey three. Oh God. Oh, thank you. Aha! We've got the first part of the Red Cross, apparently. Don't know why this is in Greece of all places. I guess because, uh, I guess technically the Red Cross was kind of a Greek thing, given the the historical figure behind it. Let's see. Take care of this rat. Get a second part of the Red. Actually, at this point, I think it's not just the Red Cross. I think we're just picking up a med kit to go. Which, granted. With the way things are going, and with all the damage I'm taking from enemies left, right, and center, I could go for a med kit right about now. Alright, up here, I think this says it. No, I think this is the start of the level. Let's see, head down here. There's a frog. Yep, this was the start of the level, and I would have had to deal with those two jerks again. Nothing over here, so I'm guessing the rest of our stuff is going to be by this dude. Ah! Oh, thanks for the pee, not some health. Please, come back, Mr. Bucket! I'm sorry! There we go. There's another part of our med kit. Ooh, some batteries, thank you. Now, the last piece of our med kit should be around here somewhere. I think it might have... We need to go down further this way. Or no, no, that just leads over to that area with the zombies. That leads to the well. So maybe we should check back where the frog is. But I think, maybe, just maybe, the med kit's over there. Ooh, and we need to hurry up because we actually are on a time limit. Oh, I'm sorry. Not just any frogs. Fire-breathing frogs. You know, those famous Greek fire-breathing fro frogs. I'm guessing they're probably spitting Greek fire. <sighs> Down to our last, uh, Frankie. Poor, poor Frankie. Can't ever just go on vacation without everything wanting him dead. Adios. Hello. Uh, All right, so we got a bearing of where we need to go. Just I need to make sure I don't get hit by that ghost hidden back there. Thankfully, that one dropped a battery for us. I just need to be careful with the frogs. I right, probably should have just did a somersault kick. Hello. Uh, right, just edge your way over there. There we go. Careful. There we go. And you know what? I don't care what that guy has. Ow. I just want to get the hell out of here. Ooh! Yeah, I'm not dealing with that guy now. Let's just get out of here. I've had enough of grease already. And now we got another bit of a branching path. We can either head towards what I'm guessing is the Congo down in Africa, or we can head to... I'm guessing this, uh, if geography serves the most notable place right here, I'm thinking this is probably New York. So we gotta go to the good old US of A. 
Yep, there's New York. You can see it because of the Statue of Liberty and the fact that it's, you know, everything's bad. Oh, okay. Fire hydrants are bad. Good to know. You be super careful. Those New Yorkers, you don't want to mess with them. Especially on a working day, like, you know, this police officer who wants to just absolutely gun you down. Ooh! He's so short! He's so tiny! He's adorable! If only he didn't try to kill me! Ooh, thank you. Batteries. What the heck? Um... It's been a while since I've been to New York, but I don't think they had laser death ray abominations hopping around on the rooftops. I still don't know what those buttons are supposed to be doing. Uh, oh. Oh, okay, that calls the, the crane over. Oh, thank you for the help. So I guess we can call the crane over to here now. Oh, I see. There's stuff down in the bay, and it's just to pull the stuff out. All right, I see what you're doing, game. Ooh, and there's a piece down there, so we need to find the right button for it. Ow! God, that guy's a dead eye with that pistol. Where does this one take you? That one takes you all the way over there. I do not want that one. I'm wondering... It's gonna be the one with the... The fire hydrant, isn't it? Unless it's this one by the officer. I'll just judo kick him out of the way. Let's see. No, he is not going for that. He is going all the way... Okay, there's actually two down in the bay. Three down in the bay! So I see the gimmick of this, it's just one huge crane game. Oh, thank you for the pee. Uh, okay, Mimic Garbages. I mean, I always knew Mimics were garbage. Okay, that one gives us our fur or our second piece of the, our souvenir, which I'm still not sure what it's supposed to be. Was it an ocarina? Is that the ocarina I picked up and actually own? the crane over here, and let's see what goodies it gets me. It gives me a third piece. It's, uh... I'm still not sure exactly what this thing is supposed to be. Oh, well, there's our exit right on the, the top of this built, unbuilt skyscraper. And there's a button right next to this out-of-control welding uh, apparatus. I don't, know why, I don't know why I called it an apparatus, of all things. Oh crap. Player one, game over. You suck. Maybe it is actually more beneficial to play as a two player, that way it just gives you more lives. Alright, so that was down in the Greek area. I say before we end it off, we go and take a look at, you know, the good old Br Great Britain, the greatest of all Britons, and see how things are up there. Take care of death. I'm away, death. I got vacations to go on. Out of the way, Grandpa. You ain't gonna stop me from the vacations. Oops. Man, I'm just ruthless to my uh, housemates, apparently. I was like, out of the way, asshole! I'm going on vacation! Top on down. Up on down here. Did I go too far? Yeah. No. Actually, no. This is the one I need to go into. Take care of Grandpa! Oh, just barely. Give yourself some full health. I'm still not too sure on what our sonic booms need to be to get, like, max damage out of all of them. Like, it seems random at times. Like, last one, maybe it's distance from the enemy? I'm not sure exactly. I thought it was based on your health, because more power in your charge, the more 
of a chance you get it, but no, that doesn't seem to be the case. Sometimes it's uh, very strong, sometimes it's just a stun shot. I'm, not, I'm just not entirely sure on it. Alright. Off to the UK. What's it like up there? Uh, nope, nope, this is not right. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, apparently the blitz is going on up here. This is not right, there's no fog everywhere, and it's not constantly raining, so my immersion is immediately broken. Ah, yes, those same as UK um, underground punks. I heard there are ruckus up there. Also, kids going crazy on their bouncing balls. Also, wow, there was a one up here. I had no clue of it. I thought those things were a myth. I thought this game only had three lives and that was it. Or at least the lives were based on your score. Ah yes, the famous UK suitcase mimics. I heard there are a ruckus up there too. And also, the poodles on skateboards! This game is weird. Now, Great Britain, uh, blah, 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 Great Britain is actually a pretty challenging area, and I just say that because of cheap enemy placements. Like, the bomber that flies around and drops bombs on you, or the juggler up ahead who shoots very small projectiles at you and they expect you to avoid it. You know, because you have a huge... Ow. Hit the hitbox on you, you know, those tiny little projectiles, ah, they'll do a boatload of damage. It'll be fine, they'll enjoy it, they'll love it. The fools. Well, it's a good thing we got that extra life. I hate that stupid plane, it's so annoying. It's almost preferable to go underground and deal with the guys down there. Y yeah, you gotta deal with the bouncy ball kids, but still. Better than getting bombed to death. Top of beer! <laughs> batteries, batteries, I would like a battery. Uh, apparently, it's a... It's a... It's a letter with a dude's face on it, of course! I mean, wouldn't you get those if you went to the UK? I would. I'd also love to not get bombed while I get to the UK as well. Uh, I think we need to go up that way, and I can't hop down from here, so we need to find a back way to it. Feels like I'm supposed to... Yeah, you're supposed to get on the lights up there, and it feels like you're supposed to run and jump from that uh, one ledge with the two suitcase mimics, but I just can't find a way to get over to it. I could be horribly wrong, and it's just in a completely different area. Ugh. I never thought I'd say this, but bring back the armor guys. I will gladly take them over this stupid RC plane. You know what? We're going underground this time. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wonder if that's supposed to be a trick enemy, like, oh, you're guaranteed to get hit by him every single time if you go right, you actually need to go and take the alternate route to be safe from him. Yeah, you gotta deal with more enemies, but at least you don't get bombed to death. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, apparently I was in interrupting this bull person's sick beats! Speaking of a sick beat, I gave him a sick beat down. Alright, you know what? No. We're gonna deal with that jerk up there before we go around and see if I there's an alternate path. You get out of here! Alright, so we can't go up this way, and I'm guessing... Uh, I think that's it up there in the corner. I could be wrong. I could be horribly wrong, but it's the only lead I have, and I feel like I need to get like a, a good long running start and just like jump up onto there, even though it feels like it's too far away from me. Oh! <laughs> All right. 
One last try. We'll go visit the Congo this time. I heard it's lovely this time of year. Alright, first piece of our passports. Over here, jump over death, avoid him like the plague. You know, usually you have no choice but to say hi to him after the plague. Kick Grandpa! Grab the second piece of the password, go up the stairs, avoid the head. Kick death in the right in the groin. Jump down here, jump down here again, jump down here a third time, and a fourth. And, you know what, why not a fifth, and also a sixth. And then jump back up here because you overshot your jump. Grandpa! Hey! Grandpa! No! I already said goodbye to you! Use the passport. Take care of that. Take care of Grandpa. And this head. And why not silence the abomination? And let's head back to Greece. No, as much trouble as this gave me in the past, I actually enjoyed a bit more than, um... Uh... Going to Great Britain. Hell, I enjoy getting kicked right in the groin better than going to Great Britain. At least getting kicked in the groin is a quick and yet yeah, somewhat painful experience, but it's not an everlasting painful experience like that place was. Plus, once you learn the tricks to the armor guys, they're pretty easy enemies. I don't know why I was complaining about them so much in the past. You know what? Since we're up here, what do you have? Oh, this is just a fast travel back to the start. Okay. Let's take care of those fools. Thankfully, we know this place like the back of my hand now, so we should be able to get through this relatively fast. There's our bucket. Sir? I would like to go up, thank you very much. Ah, I'll have to wait for the bucket to go past. There we go. Ah! Uh, thank you for the P game. I would have liked um, extra life more, but alright. Ah, the skulls, the screaming skulls! Why do they plague me so? Alright. Review. We're up and just kick him right in the face. Here's number three. And can I just drop down? Yes, I can. Ah! You know what? It's fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. There's some health. Oh, okay. So these guys follow a pattern. Or I should say a track. Probably would have been best to go up that way, but eh, it's faster this way, to be honest. Just not get hit by the ghost, and we are golden. Aloop. And we're out. Alright, so... I'm not really good at crane games, as our last trip to New York showed, so let's go down to the Congo. <laughs> Maybe we'll find Tim Curry down here. You know what? I take it back. Take me back to New York. Not even a second in. All right, so what what the hell are we supposed to be finding down here? In the fiery pits of what? Uh, ow! I didn't know that the Congo was famous for its dragons. Thankfully, we could just kick him right in the shin and make him explode. 
Oh, I see. It's a leap of faith. That dragon just doesn't know when to quit. Uh, okay. Uh, apparently the famous Congo Bat Demons are also here to play. I gotta say, this is level's more thematic for Halloween than I was gonna give it. Alright, uh, oh, apparently we already picked up a piece of our souvenir for at one point. I also can talk well when I'm confused. Ah, thank you. So it seems like it's always an envelope, but I'm guessing it's probably like a postcard from where we have been. Wow, thank you, game. Uh, you know what? Should I be censoring what the hell that skeleton's doing? Because it does not look sanitary. Avert your eyes, kids. Please, pay no mind to the skeleton. Also, that bird is really getting on my nerves. All right, there is a piece right up there. Of course, we need to drop down to get it, and I don't see... Uh, and there's the last piece. So I see where the pieces are. I see how we're supposed to get it. I'm just not a fan of it. And I'm guessing the exit to this place is probably on the other side as well. And you know what? Come back here. Come back here, Hell Dragon. I know you want to pop up. I know you're going to do it the second I jump over there. Oh, guess not. You were going to wait until I was done jumping over. Mm. Not a fan of these guys. Not a fan. Give me back the Hell Dragons, or the birds at least. The birds are small and easy to avoid. Plus, it's just fun to kick skeleton birds all over the place. Are you why uh, skeleton animals and creatures that shouldn't have skeletons are a thing? I never got that at uh, going to, like, Halloween stores and stuff. It's like... One of the things I never understood is the skeleton to fight everything. Like, you know, spiders, scorpions, you know, things that don't have a skeleton. And it doesn't so much scare me as confuse me as to why is there a skeleton of something that doesn't have a skeleton. Oh, so many birds! Where's our exit to this place? Ah, uh, yes. A hand! Uh oh nope. Not this time. I'm guessing this is a big Indiana Jones-themed level, then? Although the Hell Dragons kind of... Uh, ruin that theory. I'm just thinking of the hand because of uh, it's a very Indiana Jones theme and it's just we're in a temple of doom I don't know why I was sounding like I was trying to sound all spooky. It was like Doom. I'm scared to jump down there to be honest because I'm not sure if there is just yeah, there's just lava below Oh, you birds I'm guessing the exit this is this way. We've been going up and over instead of just going this way and avoid the dragon Okay, Pete just wanted to pop up and say hi. Let's get out of here. Ah, yes. We can travel to the famous Bermuda Triangle. Or what I'm guessing is the Middle East. Mm. Mm. We gotta go to the Triangle. I'm sorry. We have to. I want to see aliens and shipwrecks. You know what? That's going to do it for Dr. Franken, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoy this little mini-series on Huntober. If you would like this to be a game that would be a future LP, please leave it down in the comments. If you would like to also suggest a game for a future LP in the future for Huntober or for Halloween itself, by all means, leave it down in the comments. As for my rating of this game, I rate this an angry Frankie out of 10. This game, while having some enjoyable art and, you know, good levels and fun game design at some point, stuff like the Bermuda Triangle kind of sort of sours that theme, so I'm gonna slap it right in the middle of the good-bad rating. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all tomorrow for the next game in the series. I hope you all enjoyed this, and please feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments down below. Bye, everybody.